Welcome to Fleur Thermal Studio. This um, tutorial is all about uh, generating report from an existing template. So if we have a look at the main screen here, we've got four um, major components to the software. We've got a home tab, a library tab, a reporting tab, and a batch processing tab. And this, um, this tutorial assumes that you already know how to create a template or that you want to use an existing template and that you've looked at the library tab and that you've managed the images that you've taken. So what we're going to do is, is generate a report using an existing template. So I'm just going to click on this and you can sort of see we've got quite a few nice little reports here um, that uh, some have already been rewritten but the, some of the reports are, some of the templates are um, specifically for this uh, this tutorial and when we start to look at this um, I'm just going to use thermal studio tutorial so I'm just going to click that template um, I'm going to hit select and then I've got a specific folder here thermal report training and I've got a series of images here so I'm just going to highlight these images and I can drag and drop them onto the template or I can just add them to the report. So with these images, the report should take probably about 10 or 20 seconds to, uh, to generate. And the report template is very, very similar to um, what's been shown in uh, the report template generation tutorial. So we have this, we can sort of see we've got pages and we can just hit the next button down in the bottom right and you can sort of see that we've got a, 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 a clear uh, list of report pages with thermal images and uh, daylight pictures and where there's no GPS uh, data available with the image, we've just got a blank space. So on this page, what I'm going to do is delete that. And what I've got here is um, I'm going to add a table with text annotations because what I've done is added some text annotations when I analyze the image. So we've got a location here, it's in a plant room, we've got a component, it's a contactor, we, we've got a, a hot connection here and the recommendation is to check that component. If we want to resize any of the analysis tools we can do that now. All we need to do is double click, uh, we'll enter the, the image, we can, we can move the analysis tools, we can adjust the level in the span if we need to um, and we can also have the full access to color palettes and isotherms and MSX and things like that. So I'm going to save that, that minor change. Um, I'm going to close and uh, just going to sort of move on down. So I've got the recommendation tab at the, at the bottom of the page. We've got our results tables, we've got the measurements, we've got file information and we've got parameters. We have a look at another one here. Again, let's let's remove the the the, uh, the map symbol here and let's install um, text annotations because there are some text annotations associated with this. If I want to, I can move the profile around, um, and if I want to at this stage, I can uh, put in a, a data box and um, select a formula to to cope with the analysis tools I've got on the image. You can see this image here, um, we've got no plot uh, to display and we've got no geolocation, so I'm going to remove that, but just to show you the functionality, I'm going to open the image and I'm going to put a, a line on there. Right across the bars of that radiator. Okay. I can add to the reports from editing the image, I can add to a batch which is going to be covered in a, in a later tutorial, and you can see all of these specific image um, data. So let's save that and let's close. So we, we've got a profile here, so I, I can move that up if I want to, and that can help us with our analysis. <clears throat> so moving down a little bit, we're just going to stop on a page that does have um, a, a location, and um, if I double click on the map, I've got a zoom factor here. So this information is embedded into the image when uh, when you take the picture, take the thermal image, and the zoom factor is a very effective tool because we can see exactly you know where this image was taken. If I want to add analysis tools, I can do that. 
I'm, I'm just going to put um, a profile on here just to just to show how it does work and uh, I can save that um, I may want to uh, you know manually adjust thermally tune and also with the MSX function I may just want to adjust the MSX function here so you can sort of see we've got a slight ghosting at the uh, the end of the building there and with this box here this dialog box I can uh, you know manually manually align this that's a really nice feature and I'll just hit the little tick box and I'm done and if we want to um, check the uh, the image rotation we can we can rotate the image and we've got a crop function there just to make it look uh, more appealing to the eye so I'm going to save that um, and then I'm going to close and then we can move down even more and you can sort of see we've got, we've got some other images we've got some other details we've got some other tables if you want to add anything at this stage I can I can delete a table I can go up to here I can put in a, a data box or um, I can put in uh, you know isotherm details or, or geolocation so let, let's display the geolocation in this in this instant so just so that we can see it so when we're done we've gone through our we've got our images in we've we've sorted our formulas we've arranged our text comments um, and we're happy one last thing I haven't shown is, is the logo tool I'm just going to go up to the top we've got a little logo here I'm just going to double click and again you edit it from the right hand side of the pane we can browse and what I'm going to do is just go straight to the folder with the uh, training information in so I'm looking for the FLIR folder here and uh, I'm looking for uh, thermal report training and what I've done in here is put in the ITC logo okay and it's just appeared so this will appear in all the pages as we go through the report so when we're happy with this what we can do is save and what it'll do is create a report file and this is a file that we can go back to and edit so I'm just going to call this um, training one and I'm going to save it and then what we can do is uh, we can export that to a PDF and save that as well So the writing time is, is fairly quick. This software package doesn't integrate with uh, Microsoft Office, um, which gives it a, a, a very um, meaning applicable uh, application. So we'll just wait for this to, to finish converting to PDF. OK, top right, it says report complete. And what it'll do is open up in a, in a PDF reader. So when we look through this, you know the the template took about 10 minutes to create the report took about 10 minutes to create um, and we got a lot of meaningful information 